Are you a current or aspiring leader who feels stuck in your career? If so, you are not alone, but thankfully, there are six strategies that you can implement to unstick yourself from your career and find a way to move forward. And make sure to watch this video to learn what those six strategies actually are and how you can implement them. Strategy number one is you have to ask why. It's very easy to say, I feel stuck, but it's much harder to define, why do you feel stuck? Do you want more responsibility? Do you want more accountability? Do you want more freedom? Do you want more pay? What is it about your current situation that is making you feel stuck? If you can't identify this, then you're gonna find that you have a very hard time unsticking yourself. So the first question is, why is it that you feel stuck in your current role or your current environment? The second strategy is focus more on who you work with or for as opposed to the organization that you're a part of. And oftentimes what happens is we see a cool name like Google or Facebook or Pepsi, you know, if, if that tickles your fancy. And we see these great brand names and we say, I wanna work for an organization like that. I wanna work for an organization that's gonna pay me the most amount of money. And what happens is you take these jobs and you become a part of these organizations for the wrong reasons. Instead of focusing just on the salary, instead of just focusing on the brand name, focus more on who you are actually going to be working with and for. A lot of the successful CEOs and business leaders that I've interviewed got to where they are because of the people that they had the opportunity to work with and for. People who mentored them, people who coached them, people who taught them new things, people who unlocked their potential, people who pushed them, people who helped them become who they actually are. And that is done not by being at a particular organization, but it's by focusing on the individual, the teams that you are a part of. So that is a very important strategy for you to pay attention to. Focus more on the person or the people you're working with and less on the dollar figure and the brand name. Number three is consider making a lateral or even a backwards move so that you can then make a forward move. If you've ever gone hiking or rock climbing or even played chess for that matter, you'll know that oftentimes to reach your destination, you will have to make a lateral or a backwards move. Sometimes in the game of chess, you have to go backwards to reroute a piece so that you can then go forwards. If you're hiking or rock climbing, sometimes you need to go a little bit back down the mountain to find another path so that you can go back up. So if you feel stuck, chances are you should start to look at any lateral or backward moves that you can make that will then allow you to have that clearer path to go forward. And again, this might be joining a new team. This might be taking a more junior level role where you might learn new things or work with someone who can really coach and mentor you to help you succeed. Uh, it could be a variety of different things, but you need to be open to that possibility of having to make a lateral or even a backwards move so that you can then go forward. Number four is have an honest conversation with your leader. If you feel stuck, have a conversation with your leader and explain your feelings. Why do you feel stuck? Maybe you will be able to figure out some opportunities. Maybe you can take on some additional responsibility. Maybe there's a new learning or training program that you can be a part of. Maybe you can be put into a more uh, senior leadership track program. Whatever it is, you need to have these conversations with your leader because if you don't express that you feel stuck and you just complain about it and hold that in, how is anybody else going to know? So don't be scared to have that open and honest and transparent conversation with your leader or leaders and let them know how you're feeling, why you're feeling, and what they might be able to do to help you feel a little bit more unstuck. Number five is take a step back. Sometimes when you feel stuck, it's because you haven't really defined where you want to go. So take a step back and ask yourself, where do you want to be both personally and professionally? What are your goals? What are your aspirations? Where do you see yourself going? And then what you can do is you can map backwards from those places so that you can try to achieve those goals that will help get you to the destination that you want to get to. But again, if you don't have that idea, if you don't have those goals, if you haven't thought about where you wanna go or who you wanna become, if you haven't thought about these things, it's gonna be very hard for you to know if you're moving in the right direction. It's sort of like flying or sailing without having a compass, without knowing what direction you're going. 
And of course, in that kind of situation, it's very easy to feel stuck because you're just drifting. So if you wanna avoid drifting, take a step back and ask yourself, where do you wanna go personally and professionally and map backwards from those things? And the last strategy is, when all else fails, maybe quitting is a good option for you. If you've tried all of the other five things that I've talked about, you've done everything that you could at the organization that you're a part of, or the job, or the career that you're involved in, and you still feel stuck, then maybe you should leave your organization and go work for someone else or for another organization that is more aligned to your values and where you want to go. So again, that is always an option that you can take. I think the worst thing that you can do is to simply be complacent, to simply feel upset, to simply feel like you're stuck and to not take any kind of action. But the best thing that you can do is to take action. Again, I talked about six strategies in this video. Last resort for you is always to quit and to go find another path that is more aligned with what it is that you're looking for, something or someone who can help you feel like you are not stuck in your current role, in your job, in your function, even if you're an entrepreneur, even at the company that you're a part of. Regardless of what it is, you always have that opportunity to quit, to pivot, and to do something else if you absolutely have to. So these are six strategies that you can use if you're a leader, or honestly, even if you're not a leader and you feel stuck in your career, I think that if you practice one of these six strategies, you will be able to find that you are able to unstick yourself and find a clear path forward to your goals. Thanks again for tuning into the show and don't forget to go to sixleadershiptrends.com to grab a copy of my brand new PDF, which is going to walk you through the six trends that are shaping leadership and what it means to be a leader. And it will also give you action items for what you should be doing for each one of these six trends to adapt and evolve so that you can be a better leader in the future of work. Again, that is sixleadershiptrends.com. You can either spell out the number six in the URL or just use the number six in the URL. They will both take you to the same place. Thanks again for tuning in.